was heading down an old dirt road. I love my country, I love my country, heading back to the bush, gonna lighten my load. I love my country, I love my country, babies there beside me in a tight blue jeans, looks for all the world like a rodeo queen. It's Ben Sorensen here, and uh, look, I'm really, really pleased uh, to have with me, I, I, I call you country music royalty, you've done so much for Australian country, that I'm actually going to call you Mr McCormack. Oh, thank you. <laughs> how are you, mate? I'm very well, how's that yourself? Mighty, mighty fine. So how's the festival been for you this year? Good, I've only uh, been here a couple of days at this point, but having a great time. It's always busy, I've involved in a few things, including the awards, which Keeps yeah. me busy, you know, but having fun. Having yeah. A good time. Now you're uh, singing tonight with the Star Maker Finals. Yes. Um, I heard you rehearsing before. Yeah. How how's the whole performance side of your world going? Because you've you've got many talents. Um, to be honest, I hardly get out to play at all these days, and it's just that our good friend Jerry Sally is here from the states that we've written a bunch of songs with, and uh, and Gina Jeffries is here. Uh, 20 years since she won Star Maker, so we're here to perform and check out the talent that's on display and uh, sounding good. Uh, do you miss the performance side of it? I do, every now and again. I don't miss the driving in a, a rental car for six hours every day and all that stuff, but the actual music part of it and hanging out with good people is great. I really like that. But um, yeah, look, it's, it's, you know, playing live music is really good, but, um, but I kind of feel like what we're doing now is in the studio and writing songs and recording them, and that's that's kind of where my passion lies. You know? Now you're going a step further than just writing, recording, and producing. There's a, a record label that you've started as well. Tell me about that evolution. Um, well, it's something I've kind of, you know, flitted around with over the years a few different times. But I've just started a label through this um, last 12 months called Core Music, mm -hmm. and I have a, a distribution deal with Sony Music in Australia, and, and um, uh, we have three albums at, out at the moment. We have Becky Cole's Pre-Loved, Gina Jeffrey's Old Paint, and we've just released this week um, a brand new concept called The Apprentices, which for me is something I'd like to do annually. Um, and it's, it's like something to sort of nurture new talent, and, and I'm trying to hope to find another rung up on the ladder for mm. them. It's so hard for new artists to break through at the minute. So we've got four artists, they're individual artists, um, Kayla Ann, Michaela Foodie, um, Hannah Smith and Georgia White, all young, incredibly talented people. And we have a, an album just came out and they'll be touring through the year with um, a tour called The Master and the Apprentices, which yeah. will be people like Adam Harvey, Becky Cole and some of the other big names in the industry. Oh. And, uh, and the Apprentices virtually go out as their, their you know, support act. What a brilliant concept. And what a great way, because I think that, uh, I don't know if you share this view or not, but um, Encouraging Australian country to grow as far as not only with artists but also a greater range of artists uh, hopefully will encourage Australian country's fan base to grow and will be good for the industry. Is that sort of the view that you're taking? Well, yeah, for sure. Um, look, I, I'm like everybody. I love country music when it's country. I love pop music. I love bluegrass music. I just love good music. And, and for me, when country music in Australia has really grown, and there's been a sort of a swell, it's always on the edge of a breakthrough artist or on the back of a breakthrough artist. If you look at when you know, James Blundell came along in 1990 or so, and then Lee Kernighan and then Gina, and then artists that have followed um, Casey Chambers had a big impact. I think the McClymonts are on the edge of maybe doing that now. And um, so I think we all talk about expanding the market, but that happens with breakthrough artists, but we're not putting any money into finding these breakthrough artists, which is what we're trying to do. So, what's the selection criteria for the apprentices? Talent. <laughs> Is there uh, anything you specifically look for? Yeah. Um, Other than just talent? Just lots of it. Lots of it. Yeah. A, a bountiful supply of talent. Yeah. That's a really easy application form, really. You're not a big fan of paperwork, are you? <laughs> Simple. Cream rises. Yeah. <laughs> so does oil. <laughs> so, what does the future hold for you? Um, look, I, I enjoy doing that. Look, I, I have a studio on the Central Coast of New South Wales, make lots of records and, and write songs and 
Um, if I can carry on doing that for a long time, I'll be pretty happy. I'm lucky that I feel like I get to do what I love. Oh, well, you just can't do better than that. Doing what you love and actually getting paid for it sometimes is uh, even better. Thank you very much, Mr. McCormack. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. Wheels heading down an old dirt road. I love my country. I love my country. Heading back to the bush, gonna lighten my load. I love my country. I love my country. Babies there beside me in a tight blue jeans. Looks for all the world like a rodeo queen.